Hi, my name is Alex Hayes, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use this ultrasound machine to guide an IV into a deeper vessel. This is a, a good tool to have when people's um, regular sites for IV insertions are maybe not as good because of chronic health issues or frequent blood draws, or maybe they used IV drugs and ruined some of those veins. So this is a really good tool to have when a patient really needs access but they don't really have good vessels in their arms or other limbs. Okay, first thing we need to do, obviously, is get a little bit more um, familiar with the ultrasound machine that we're using. Um, this one's pretty new and it's really easy to use, and this is the probe we're going to use because this one helps us look at more surfaced um, tissue inside someone's arm, and we're going to be looking for vessels. And This one actually gives us the option on the screen to look for veins, so we're going to look for veins, so it adjusts um, the settings a little bit for veins. And we press scan. And then, obviously there's nothing there right now because we're not on anything. Uh, but this is how you adjust the depth. These are in centimeters. Uh, so depending on how large your patient's arm is, we can adjust this to make the screen fit that person's anatomy a little bit better. So we're gonna put it on about three. We may not even have to go, we won't have to go that deep. Um, but another good thing to know is knowing how deep you need to go to thread a full IV catheter in there. Because sometimes it can be Two, centimet two centimeters deep and you need to be able to thread a catheter far enough that it can sit stable in someone's vein and not just pop out with a saline flush and it can actually be a useful IV. So this is Micah, she's going to be our volunteer for the ultrasound guided IV. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, good. Okay. The first thing we need to do is actually locate the vessel. So we're not going to clean it yet, we're going to put a tourniquet on there to plump up the vein that's deeper in her arm and put some jelly on there and just identify where it's at because we got to know where we're going first uh, before we actually get it all sterile and poke a needle in her arm. So let's do that. I'm just going to bring your arm over here. And then let's put this tourniquet on. And a lot of patients, they usually have just a really good vessel that runs up their arm. It's one of the main vessels that kind of um, goes parallel with that main artery deep in their arm. So we have to make sure we're going to be hitting the vein and not the artery. So let's put some jelly on there. <laughs> we'll just adjust this. And just spread this around. And then let's, let's find. Do you want to just pump your fist for me a couple times? And then we can just go up and down the arm. If you see on the screen, um, those circles right there, those are. This is a, a, a shot if you were to. Like, chop someone's arm and just look straight at it. It's like a transver transverse cut. Hmm. So she has a vessel right there, and you can see it. It's a big nerve bundle right there. And if you guys can see that in the center of the screen to the top, that honeycomb looking object, that's actually a nerve bundle. So those are things you need to watch out for because that'll you'll fill that down your whole arm if I poke that with a needle. It's really faint, but it's usually by some of the vessels, and the vessels are actually underneath it. When we can compress the vessels and they flatten out, those are veins. The one that doesn't flatten out, see how it's got a pulse? That's the artery. So we're not going for an artery. It's right there at the top. It's got her pulse going back and forth. We have this other vein over here that's away from the vessel and away from that uh, nerve bundle. So we're going to do that one. Yeah. So then a good thing to do is remember where your probe was and make sure they don't move their arms so nothing is moved. Because we're going to take this off, clean it all off, um, so we can insert this aseptically. So we're about right there. Just 
So we clean all this jelly off because we're going to be using some sterile jelly. Cut that. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna clean this whole area. I'm just nice and clean. And then this is uh, sterile jelly that we're gonna use. Right under her arm. You don't want to use too much because sometimes it's hard to get it off the patient's arm and then a tegaderm won't stick to their arm. Nothing will really stick to their arm very well. So it's good just to use a, a minimal amount, not too much as we did when we were looking. I'm just bringing some of my stuff a little closer. We're going to retie this, making sure we don't compromise that sterile field that we just created. This includes keeping that out of the way. And then this next step is really important because this isn't sterile. So if I just put this onto her, her arm, it's going to compromise that whole sterile field we just created. So we're going to use a st sterile tegaderm to put over the top of this and make sure we don't let this touch anything else besides that part of her arm. So we're just gonna nice, gently lay this over. You wanna make sure it goes on nice and smooth like that because if there's any ripples, you'll be able to tell on the, the, the screen. It won't show, show up as clear. And I just kind of tear it down. Okay, so we got it centered on the screen. And we're just gonna poke. And then we can see our needle tip. Can you see that on the screen? Just this little movement. That's me poking the needle back and forth. And that's the vessel right there, so we're just going to gently go in. See, now we're in the vessel. It's filling up this little um, chamber right here. So now we're in it. I just want to start advancing the needle, the catheter. And now we're in. Um, so we, we can release this to give her arm a break, and we're in. But another important thing to do is get this jelly off, because like I said, nothing's going to stick to her arm. And it just makes it a little bit easier to do. But you want to make sure you don't touch this part, because that's the sterile part that we're going to hook up the tubing to. And then to ensure that's in there well, we drain the blood down the line. So it's draining really well. That's a good sign that it's in there. Put that back on. And then I like to use this chloroprep to help wipe up some of that excess jelly. It really just helps evaporate it so a tegaderm will just stick to her arm a little bit better. And it wipes some of it up too. Doing okay? Yeah. <laughs>
Then you just fill up. Well, that's good. And even though we wiped off some of this jelly, it'll it will still not stick as well as someone's arm that hasn't had jelly on it. So we'll get it on there pretty good, and then we'll wrap it up with some some Coban to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And as you can see, this doing this procedure creates quite the mess. And then. Now we're going to flush, just gently. Does that feel okay when it's flushing? Yeah. It's good to check with the patient the patient, because you can't really see in their arm, and it could be even deeper than the one we went for. Um, so make sure it's flushing smoothly on your end, and that doesn't feel like it's swelling up in their arm as well. And we can even pull back a little bit, and we can see the blood's coming back. And then we'll flush it all the way in. And then clamp as we flush. And then just stay nice and still. And then since that doesn't stick as well, we'll just do a little bit a light wrap of this po band to help keep it in place. You don't want to do it too tight because it can actually flatten out the vessels if you compress it too tight. And then we can just tape this as we please. And this IV is now good to go for medications or fluids or a CT scan because maybe the patient doesn't have good vessels over here and they need a big line for blood transfusion, just dozens of things. And we were able to get one that we couldn't see on the surface. We couldn't really feel because we didn't know it was there. But we were able to use the ultrasound to guide it in and see where it's at and get it in nice and smoothly. Freaking nailed it! <laughs> wow, that so was good. incredible.